Plop, a tool that will help you to be more productive using templates to generate boilerplate code. Every time you create a new component in your React application or create a new controller in your API, I am sure you have a particular file which you use as base to create your new code. Copying and pasting this file into a new folder and renaming the class as well as the variables and functions. In Plop, you create the templates files specifying structure, common parts that heavily changes, as well as the entry points for the variables, which are filled with values that the user inputs. So let's set up Plop in this React project I've created using Vite. First of all, let's install the Plop dependency using npm install. Here I am at a JavaScript project, but Plop doesn't need to be necessarily in a JavaScript project to work properly. But in this case, it helps us to configure it in an easier way. In the root of our project, so I will create a file called plopfile.js. And I will export the default function which receives a plot argument in it. Note that I'm using a JS doc here, specifying the plot parameter type, which brings VS Code out completion. And now I'm going to register a new generator. I'm calling it component. The idea for it is creating a new component under the components folder in my project. And following, I will create the configuration for that generator. The prompt section serves to get the user input. It uses inquire under the hood, which will be the topic of my next video. So stay tuned. And in actions, we'll pass all of the stuff that this generator is going to do. For now, I'm going to leave only one action, which is creating a new file. And type, I will leave the add for adding a new file. It's also possible to use add many and modify. And path, I will pass the location which that file will be created. Note that I'm using the double curly braces syntax. It is part from handlebars and it serves to consume a variable. Here I want to take the name and convert it to Pascal case, which will be the name of the file. Any template file, I will point to the file that defines the structure of my new generated file. Now let's create the file. First, I'm going to create a folder named plop templates. Then I will create a new file called component.hbs, which means handlebars. Now I'm going to copy the contents of a header that I've already created and in every place we have the components name I will replace by double curly braces Pascal keys name to consume the variable the same way we did in the plot file and we are all set up just run npx plot and fill up the prompts to plot generator components don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content bye